Hey guys, it's your girl OG Teddy B back with another video. I'm gonna show you how I prepared this wig and glue it down on my head. If you are new here, thank you so much for watching. If you've already been with me, thank you so much for coming back. If you're new here, don't forget to click that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell notification as well so you know when I post videos. Also, the details for this wig will be in another video, but if you wanna see how I install this lace frontal wig without using the heavy duty glue or any lace tape or sewing, keep on watching. So let's get started. First things first, you wanna make sure you have a wig cap on your head. And this is just gonna make sure your hair is like just neat and tidy and kept away. Some people slick their hair underneath their wig caps. Mine is in like four braids because I have pretty thick hair, so I have it in four braids. And this is important because again, this gives the wig cap something to hang on to, but it just keeps your hair neat and away. Second thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need a few clips. I have two crap clips or crap clips, whatever you call them, and I have one clip like this. And this is to move the wig out of my face when I'm gluing it down on my head. You're also gonna need some glue, obviously. I'm using the Got To Be Ultra Glued Glue. You can get this from Walmart. If you're in the States, I guess CVS, I'm not too sure. But this is um, what I'm gonna use to glue my wig down today. You're also gonna need a blow dryer. I find the blow dryer just, makes, just gets the glue tackier quickly. So it's faster and you can put your wig down, glue it down, get it down and go about your business because I'm actually on my way to work after this so I gotta get it going. So I'm gonna show you guys my wig. And this is my girl. And there's this section and there's a wig cap. So this is the cap that, this is the portion that goes on your head and this is the portion that glues down. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm actually gonna put it on, on camera, it's so awkward. <laughs> so I put the back section on first, then I flip it back like that, but I'm going to lift the wig portion back and just ensure that the wig cap is securely on my head, okay? So when I pull the wig portion forward, I'll know where I'm going to glue down or where I'm going to glue the wig down. So now, this is the reason why you have the clips. I'm gonna show you in. So you need the clip because you're gonna go like this. Well, first things first, you're actually gonna pull the hair back and then start clipping it. Because you don't want hair in your way when you're trying to glue this down. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And if I keep looking to the right, it's because I'm looking in my viewfinder. And the same thing with this side, you're gonna pull the hair back and clip it down. And this just gives you a better view of the perimeter of the wig. So you can see where you're gluing, which is again, very important. I'm gonna grab my glue. Some people like to use a Q-tip. I'm messy, I get straight into it. I just put it on my fingers and glue it down. Taking about this much. And I'm gonna start by applying it to the front of my wig. Now I'm applying this kind of on my hairline and just before it. I'm getting some more of the glue and I'm applying it on my hairline on the other side and just before it again. So I like to do the middle, the top, like the top section like this first and then I'll go into the sides. So as you can see, the, ju the glue is changing some color. That's okay. That's because as it starts to dry down, it does change color. So I'm gonna grab my blow dryer, just to speed up the drying process. I'm gonna put it on, the heat is gonna be on medium. The speed is gonna be on high, so you're not gonna hear me for the next 30, 30 seconds to a minute. And while it's drying, you'll see me touching the wig to feel how tacky the glue is getting. Once it gets tacky enough where it has a bit of a stick, that's when I'm gonna press the wig cap or the wig down onto the glue to start the process. Okay, the glue's getting tacky. So I'm gonna just pull it forward. This is where you're gonna need a tail comb if you don't have one. I should have mentioned that before, but you're gonna need a tail comb. So I pull the wig forward, and then when I'm applying the wig, I'm pushing it down onto the glue, but I'm pushing from the back to the front. And then I'm gonna take my tail comb, put it at the hairline, and push 
to lay down on the hairline. As you can see, okay? So I'm pushing. Oops. I'm pushing the way down on the hairline. And that's so the hairline is flush because obviously you don't want your wig, the, top, the tip of your hairline lifting. Now for this section here, I'm gonna start just styling the baby hair section of it because that's where the part is. Okay, and once that's done, again, I'm just going through the hair and I'm just pushing the perimeter of the wig down. Now, what I'm going to do to ensure that that's fairly stuck on is take the blow dryer, blow the edges and take the tail comb again with the edge and do the same motion. My tail comb just broke in the middle of me filming this, which is okay. I mean, I got the edge, so I can still just use this part. So I didn't mention this, but as you're pushing the wig down, you're kind of styling the edges of it a bit. Now I'm going to move on to the edges. I'm going to take some more of the glue. I'm going to apply that to the edges here, leading down to my ear my sideburns again I'm applying the glue and do the same steps the same process and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side once I'm done applying the glue I'm gonna go back in with a blow dryer Sorry, that's my alarm telling me I need to get the hell out of here soon. So I'm going to take the pointed end of that tail comb again and start pushing the wig down. So like I said, as you're pushing it down, you're kind of styling the edges of the wig as well. I'm kind of pushing it down and kind of pushing the hairs onto my head, basically. Now I'm going to do the other side. This side always tends to give me trouble. So I'm pushing the wig down. And I'm going to go in with this. And I'm going to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to use the tail comb now. And the back end of it. Now I'm going to take out the clips on the sides because the sides tend to be a little harder to keep to stay down. Not sure. I think it might be because of the shape of my head at the side there or because it's going around the ear. Jump back in with the blow dryer and blow dry it and repeat the same process I did for the top. And guys, that is pretty much it. Now I'm gonna just take all the clips out, comb the hair out. And that is it. Pretty straightforward, it's pretty easy. Now, if you are someone who likes to wear your wigs for a long period of time, I wouldn't suggest this method because this method probably lasts me for like a day or two, but I like to take my wigs off every few often to oil my scalp, massage my scalp, uh, massage my hair underneath and do things like that. If you're looking for a method that's more long wearing, this is not gonna work for you. I don't use the tapes. I don't use the heavy duty glue. I literally use just the lightest glue, which is the Gots to Be glue. And that's how I achieve this 
look tune for my next video guys all the details on this wig will be in that video thanks for watching bye